Hello and welcome to another edition of Middleware Friday for June 9th, 2017. This is episode 23 and today I'm going to talk to you about Azure Logic Apps and the Azure Active Directory Connector. So no community content today. I was in a little bit of a bind for time this week so we're just going to focus on the content. And I guess one thing I do want to highlight is that this connector is in preview. So when I was actually building out this demo, I did run into a few issues. So I want to um, take some of those questions over to the product group to see if, just to clarify a few things. But I do have a, a demo that does highlight the some of the capabilities of the connector. So I decided to go forward with this anyways. So why do we want to use the Azure Active Directory connector? What's sort of the, the goal or the use case of of using this and I think you know for many organizations they always want to reduce the amount of time it takes to onboard people and offboard people and I think using automation like logic apps and the Azure Active Directory connector will help organizations facilitate that now oftentimes you might see other software that has specialized connectors where you pay a lot of money or you build out some very complex systems well, we know logic apps are pretty easy to use and this could actually be very beneficial, reduce the amount of time it takes to onboard someone, reduce the friction, you know, whenever someone starts a new job, you know, it's always a pain if things aren't ready. And it is something that you do want to automate. You don't want to have a lot of manual processes as you actually go ahead and onboard people. So before we get started, um, you know, there was a few prerequisite steps that I needed to do in order to get this to work. Now, number one, I am using my own Azure Active Directory tenant, you know, as part of an MSDN subscription. So this is something that I had set up before, but I uh, needed to create a new user um, in order to actually have the permissions to call the Azure Active Directory connector. So I went ahead, went into the portal, created a new user. Um, I gave this user global administrative privileges. Um, in order so that they'd have the ability to actually manipulate the directory and actually create objects. So go ahead and do that. And then once I had that in place, I could go ahead and create my logic app. Now, to keep things simple, I created a very simple HTTP endpoint. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and search for AD and we'll start to see some of the different operations that are exposed. And I'll show you a more comprehensive list towards the end of this presentation. So the initial operation I want to use is create user. And once I go ahead and click on that operation, I do need to sign in. And this is where I sign in with the account that I just created in the previous step. Once I go ahead and do that, I'll then have the ability to populate the metadata that is required for creating a new user. And you can see we've got the little red star which indicates a mandatory field and then we've got some optional data as well. So what I've done in this case is I've used that HTTP request connector and I've also added a JSON sample message in order to generate my JSON schema. So now I've got a type message and I can use the Logic Apps mapping to map from my inbound HTTP request into my Azure Active Directory request. Now, in order to, I guess, make this a little bit more real or to demonstrate a little bit more functionality, I've also included a get groups of a user. So what I've also got is a delay, which is very counterintuitive under normal circumstances. But for the purpose of the demo I'm going to show you shortly, I go ahead and create a user. I then create a delay of one minute, and then I go ahead and add this user to some groups inside of Azure Active Directory and then what we'll see is that in our response we'll have all of the different IDs for the groups that this user now belongs to. As I mentioned before these are some of the other operations that are available. Do note that these are in preview so mileage will vary. So now let's go ahead and jump into a demo. So I'm now in Postman, and I'm going to go ahead and send a JSON message to my Logic App over HTTP. In this case, I've got a user, my good buddy Richard Sirota, so we're going to go ahead and create 
him an account in my Azure Active Directory instance. I have replaced this password, so <laughs> no point in trying to access my tenant with this account um, as we go forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on send. And then while that's running, I'm going to go and bring my Azure Active Directory instance in, and I'm gonna go ahead and add users. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Richard to Integration Monday. There's another group called Middle or Friday. We'll add him to that one as well. And then one more, Yammer. So let's go ahead and add Richard over to Yammer. So now we've got him in three different groups. And as part of our response, which should be showing up here shortly, we'll see that the IDs for each of these different groups has been returned. And then what we could do with those IDs is then actually call, use another operation, pass those IDs in, and actually get more details about those particular groups. Now we can see the user was created successfully. We have the ID for Richard's account, and we can see that he now belongs to these three groups. So that concludes our demo. Uh, I know this was a short episode uh, this week. Uh, next week we'll be back with more goodness. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you BizTalk360 for being a good partner of the show. And take care and we'll see you next week on Middleware Friday.